Hi everyone, my name is Faisal, I'm the founder of WebMedic and I'm going to be sharing with you now how you could increase your online sales without more advertising. So today, right, it's very easy for you to start selling online. Thanks to tools like Shopify and Amazon, you could start selling to the whole world within the same day. And because it's so easy, we have a problem of overpopulation. And what that means is, even if you have a unique product or service, it's still very difficult for you to stand out because there's so much noise by so many other stores that compete on your customer's attention and wallets. What makes things worse is big players like Amazon dominate the market. And that means they spend millions of dollars on advertising making it even more difficult for us to stand out online. On the other side, consumers like us, like you, like me, we have many options nowadays. And that means no matter what you want, you can just Google it and no, so many stores, so many marketplaces are offering to sell it to you and that makes it more difficult for us to be able to sell to customers online. Consumers as well have high expectations and what that means is because we shop all over the world today So we expect your product your service to be of same or even higher quality Consumers as well have unique needs and that means we want different sizes different colors And if you don't offer what we're looking for we're gonna find someone else who does So Again, SMEs nowadays face unique challenges. And what are they again? Well, we have a problem of overpopulation. And that means it's difficult for us to stand out because of so much noise by so many other stores competing on our customers' attention and wallets. We also have consumers have many options nowadays. You know, they have high expectations and they have unique needs. So, with all of these problems, right, the question is, how can SMEs grow? How can we win online without huge budgets, you know? We don't have a million dollars to spend on ads, so how can we reach our customers and grow our business without huge budgets? And to answer that question, we need to understand the problem. And the problem I found is that most online businesses today, right, they believe that the way to make more money online is by bringing more visitors. So what they do is they spend more on advertising to bring more visitors to make more money. And that is a problem, and I'm going to share with you now why. You see, this is the e-commerce business formula, and that's visitors multiplied by conversion rate multiply by average order value, that is your revenue. And there is no other way to grow your online sales other than improving these three variables. There is no way to increase your sales unless you improve these three variables. So let's see an example. On the left side, this business has 30,000 visitors that convert at 1%. That means every 100 people, one person becomes a customer. And that customer on average spends with them $100. So this business makes on average $30,000. Now on the right side, this business has the same number of visitors, but they have small improvements on conversion rate from 1 to 1 1.8%. And they improved average order value from 100 to $150 and so they make more than double the money with the same number of visitors now that's very important because when you spend more on advertising you're gonna have to lower down your profit margins but if you improve your online store instead and focus on getting more conversions and more average order value you could have higher ROIs with the same number of visitors and that's very very important So here is the e-commerce success pyramid. And what is that? 
that's a way for you to visualize how can you grow your online business and what is the structure to do that. You see, everybody wants success online. And that could mean different things for different people. You might want to have a global brand with international presence. Whatever it is you want, you cannot get it unless you have more sales. And you cannot increase your sales unless you have a good shopping experience. And that means on the cart, on the checkout, you have answered people's objections and you have a smooth checkout experience so people can shop online very easily. And you cannot have a good shopping experience unless you have a good user experience. And that means your website is easy to navigate and easy to find things that people are looking for. And you cannot do any of these things if you don't have the right software which allows you to do modifications on it and you're measuring everything correctly and you have security. So based on these foundations, what we're going to do now, we're going to go over, I'm going to share with you some strategies, some tactics to improve your user and shopping experience so you can increase your sales. So we start with objections and customers, right? Your customers are people and those people have objections in their mind and the only way to know that is by asking them. So how can you ask them? Here's a free tool called Hotjar.com and Colgate is using it for in this example and they're asking their visitors if you didn't make a purchase today, what stopped you? So then people will tell you they think it's too expensive or they're just browsing around and then you collect all this information and you use it to improve your marketing so you could increase your sales without more advertising. Your visitors as well have questions and they don't want to go on a contact form, fill the form, wait 24 hours for a reply. They want an answer now. So how you do that is by offering live chat. A service called Drift.com helps you do that so you can answer people's questions on the spot. Now, interestingly, right, they found that there's actually three different types of shoppers online. And in order for you to sell to them, you must cater to their needs. So who are these three shoppers? On one side, you have people who want the best stuff. They don't care about the price. They don't care about being new or old. If it's the highest quality, if it's the best, they want it. Then there are people who want the cheapest stuff. Now, those people don't, don't care about it being high quality, but they want it on a promotion and for affordable price. Then you have people who want the newest stuff. They don't care about it being very good or not high quality, but if it's a new arrival, if it's something new, they want it. One interesting point we see is online stores have items out of stock. And what happens is people who want to buy them then will lose, will leave without buying. So how can we bring them back? Let's say you have this dress for sale. We add a button to notify when it's back in stock. People click on it. They give you their information. Automatically, when your product is, uh, is back in stock, they get an email with the item notification and they can buy it from you again. Interestingly, customers online abandon carts. And what does that mean? That means people will add items to cart that they want to buy. They will go on the checkout page, but then they won't actually buy. Now that happens for many reasons. It could be that they got busy or something happened, you know, which led them to forget about the cart and leave it. So what we do in that case is we have an automatic email that gets sent out to people who abandon their cart reminding them of the item in the car so they can buy it again and you will be surprised that people actually will read this email and will come back to your store to buy the items that they abandoned in the car so this is a very important thing to do for your online store now here we're going to look at how improving user experience can actually increase your sales and i'm going to share with you two interesting case studies but first, I'll, I'll explain to you what we mean by that. What do you mean by measure? So we measure using tools again like Hotjar.com. And in this case, you're looking at something called a heat map. And this heat map is showing you how far people scroll down a page. 
So the red section is everybody can see this section. People see the top section. But as it becomes yellow and green and blue, less and less people are scrolling down to see these sections. Now that's very interesting because you might imagine just because you have a page that people are browsing the entire page. But actually data shows us that people do not browse the entire page most of the time. So here's an example. This online store sells phone cases, okay? And you can see the red part, everyone looks at the top part. And as you go down, less and less people go there. New arrivals maybe gets 10% of the visitors. But then when you reach the best sellers, almost nobody goes there. So you could have the best offer. You could have the best offer here, but nobody will see it in this case. Now, this does not mean for your store, people are not going to the bottom of the page. It does not mean that. What that means is you have to measure your online store and find out for your specific case, where are people dropping off on the page? Okay? So here we're looking at the same website, but we're looking at something called a click map. And this shows us where are they clicking and not clicking. So you see the, the navigation, there's many buttons and there's one button in red and that means this button gets the most amount of clicks. Now what is that button? That button is the sales button and that tells us that for this website, majority of the potential customers, the visitors, they actually want the cheapest phone case. They want the items on sale. Another interesting part here is the collab menu. On the menu, there's others and collab next to it. That menu is a collaboration with different designers to make high quality um, covers. But it's interesting to see that nobody actually clicks that button. You see? Now you can see that people, uh, you should not invest in things that people are not showing interest in. Or you could also say you want to restructure your website to cater to uh, what you want them to do. So based on these insights, we have improved the, the, the home page, and you'll notice a shorter banner, you'll notice a big sales banner, and you notice the new arrival on the right side, that's the, the latest collaboration. And we put the best sellers on top, and based on these improvements, we have seen over 70% increase in sales for this customer. So another example here is this website which has a booking button and what you will notice is we tested two other variations of the button. Now can you guess which is the best one? Can you guess right now which is the best button and by how many percentage improvement is it? Try and guess and I'll share with you the result now. So the original button got 0.16 click-through rate and that means it needs a thousand people to get one click the red button got 3.34 percent that means a hundred people get three clicks and that's alone a huge improvement adding the word now made it 4.33 percent and that means from 0 0.16 the original button to just making it red and adding the word now that's over 2.6 thousand percent improvement in click-through rate now that is crazy okay but again it does not mean that you should go now and make your button red and call it a book now every website has different customers different target market so you should be doing tests on your website for different colors different call to actions they call them like a book book now is a call to action you know you could test different variations and you could see what works for your online store, for your business, for your target market. An example here is called upsell and cross-sell. And what that means is when someone is buying something from you, like in this example, they're buying a jacket. Now, while they buy the jacket, we're asking them, hey, why not also buy the turtleneck and the jeans so you could complete the whole look? And that's how you can actually increase your average order value without increasing your visitors. 
One more thing you could do is offer bundles. And what are bundles? Bundles is let's say someone's buying one item like this headset. You offer them to buy several other items in one go for a cheaper price when they buy the entire bundle. Now this only works when your recommendations actually fit well together with the item they're buying. You know? So that's the trick for this one. You must make sure that whatever you have in the bundle makes sense to buy. In this specific case, we can say maybe it's not the best example, you know, because if I'm buying a headset, why would I also buy a speaker? You know, you could say that, right? So, in, so you want to have a good bundle that makes sense to buy together and that's how people will buy it because basically what you're giving them is a deal to complete a set for a cheaper price, you know, and that's why it makes sense for them to buy and that's how you could actually increase your average order value and sell more of your stocks at the same time. Another example, a simple one is called free shipping. Of course, you've seen that many times, but here's the trick. We don't just offer free shipping to everyone. The free shipping should be used to increase your average order value. So let's say you find out based on data on your store that people on average spend uh, $40 on average. And you want to increase that to at least $50. So you, you say, okay, I'm going to give people free shipping if they buy over $50. And you'll be surprised that people will actually spend more with you. They will add more items just so they can get free shipping. It's amazing, but it works. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them. You know, we could talk about your online store. We could talk about uh, specific issues you're facing right now. We could talk about the data that you want to collect. How can you collect it? So any question you have on your online business, feel free to ask me and I'm happy to answer them for you. Now, I would like to also share with you that we at WebMedic help businesses like yours increase their online sales without more advertising. So if you're interested, you could apply on this link below and I'll be in touch with you to see how we can help you grow your online business. Thank you for listening and goodbye.